Hey, what's up everybody? We are back with another new series to the channel. I know I have like so many of them now, I just gotta keep making more. But today I want to take a bit and talk through Eastern Europe. This is gonna be the start of a new sort of how I play. Not 100% certain what the name is, I'm sure I'll have figured it out in the title by now, but I want to try to help you guys visualize maps a little bit better because one thing that they really don't teach you in any of the tutorials or anything in War Thunder is how to play any of the maps and there's no resources out there for you to learn. There's a couple really old videos that I think a couple different YouTubers have made but they're quite outdated at this point. Now I'm not going to say that this is the end all be all of how to play any of the maps that I'm going to be covering in this series but this is sort of how I play the maps and I personally think if you play them this way you'll probably have at least slightly better results. I'm obviously not going to guarantee you're going to have an ace every single game because even I don't have an ace every single game. But I tend to have success playing these maps the way that I'll show you so I hope that I can kind of pass on some of that to you and maybe it can help you learn to just kind of figure out how to play each map a little bit better. So you might have noticed that I kind of changed these to be uh, white. I also have the different colored versions. I should have swapped the colors here, but I was stupid. I'm going to include all of these pictures down at the bottom, but I have them blank right now. And this is just to kind of show you the different, I guess you can call them lanes, of the map. So we sort of have this section down here that tends to be a pretty hot fight here. And then you have this section across the river that is also part of... I should have made that a different color. Let's uh, swap that to, like, yellow. I'm trying to use colors. That way, if you're colorblind, you can still see. Let me know in the comments if there's any colors that um, I use that are issues to anybody. But this is sort of how you can look at Eastern Europe. You have this main area in pink down here. This is where the majority of the fighting of all of the people who kind of are a bit more of lemming trains would go. This is where you'll see a lot of people go when you're playing on a sort of like lower tier game. In a higher tiered match, you're probably going to start to see people who are going to come from this spawn and this spawn. Because if you're thinking, let me grab some black. There is a ridge that runs right about, I think it's just about here, that runs until about like there. There's a bit of a incline here with some trees, and then there's another patch of trees that stretches about there. And people will actually use that, I know I personally do sometimes, you can kind of push down along this area. A lot of times what I'll do is I'll go to the C point and then come up here but you can also push straight down and come out. And if you do it fast enough, you can actually effectively get shots. Ooh, I don't want to use, uh, don't want to use that color. You can effectively get shots down into B. Now I won't just do it from this position because that doesn't always work. And you basically will always die after you get one or two kills. I very rarely survive longer than that. And if you do survive, you can have a pretty good game because you can kind of double back, but you very rarely survive longer than a couple kills. The other thing, and this is what I do a lot more frequently, from this spawn specifically, is I'll go up across this bridge as fast as I can. This pretty much only works for your first spawn, and I get into this area. There's also another, let me kind of map this, I don't know why they show, they show the inclination, but they don't really show these ridges. There's another ridge that sort of stretches to about there, this is mostly just bushes, and I'll kind of get into this position. And then you once again have your firing line where you can shoot straight down into B because that's pretty much right in this area is where you're going to get a lot of people congregating. So you want to get a firing line down into that position. But this is if you're using a faster vehicle and also mainly from this spawn. So let's take a look at a nice new fresh map and think about how we would use this map if we were in a slower vehicle or coming from the other spawn. We'll start with the other spawn because I kind of already did um, from the other side. So if I'm coming from this spawn, what I'll usually do if I don't decide to go down into this position, if I have like a fast vehicle or a sniper vehicle, is I'll go and grab the A point and then you can push 
either up to here or to here, and then I push out onto this river. Now, sometimes you can get caught doing this from people crossing here, but if you do it fast enough, you can get to this edge, and then what I'll do is I'll look visually down the river, because you can see both of these bridges. If you see anyone crossing or anyone who's just crossed, you take the shot on them, knock them out, make sure there's nobody else there, and then you continue pushing. And what I'll do is I'll get into this corner position here, and then you can even sometimes sneak right along down in, and then you can come up and actually flank the enemy. Now, a lot of these ways that I play Eastern Europe are not high survivability, but they can give you a lot of kills. A higher survivability way of playing this would be to go up into this position because you're in cover behind the ridge that's here and, and then you can take any shots on anybody who's moving into this area. Although, there's going to probably be less kill opportunities for you. If you're using a slower vehicle on Eastern Europe, it's a lot simpler. Using a mobile vehicle gives you a lot more options, but a slower vehicle with heavier armor usually, unless you're using like an STA, which is just slow for really no good reason. You have a lot less opportunities given to you, but playing the map tends to be easier. You pretty much, what I'll tend to do is you need to duke it out with the other heavies. So you want to kind of make your way down into a position like here. Let me uh, mark that with a little bit of a brighter color. You want to kind of get into there, or if you're coming from the other side, you probably want to get into a position like... You can kind of use these buildings here because you can get hull down behind them. And you want to kind of snipe and use your armor and your bigger gun usually on a heavy tank. And you want to try to break the stalemate on B. Because whichever team can push to this set of buildings on either side here. Let me just kind of color code those. Whichever team could push to either of these sides first tends to be the one that wins. Not always, because people will just throw games for basically no reason. But you really want to try to push into these areas. But the mistake that I see a lot of people make is they continue to aggressively push after they've taken this area. You don't want to do that. You can, if you're in a more mobile vehicle, you can get up and take like the C point or get up to the A point but once you've done that do not continue advancing because it's likely that the enemy team has at least one or two tanks up in this area or at least one or two out in these areas that and you could even have people like kind of dotted around in here you never know where people are going to go they're very unpredictable in this game you don't want to overextend if your team is congregated just past the B point, you can push a little bit further, but try to stay with them because if nothing else, they will take the shots for you. Now, in some situations, if you know that, let's say, you know there's a gaping hole and there's no enemies in this area, but they're up here, obviously, take that advantage, push up, you can take the little bit of a risk to get across the river and potentially knock those guys out. But... If you don't know what's in here, and you don't know what's up here, stay to the safety of the buildings until you do, or until such a time as there's nothing else that you can shoot at, and then go for it. Because remember, if you have the two caps, you have the bleed in your favor. So the enemy has to come to you. Well, I hope that this did help you. And please do give me some criticism on um, how to sort of coordinate this better. I'm kind of doing this a little bit off the cuff, just kind of trying it out, seeing how you guys respond to it. So do let me know if you enjoyed this or not, and let me know what maps you want to see in the future. I sort of picked Eastern Europe because I think it's one of the more common maps that you'll see, but I'm not really sure what maps you guys see most commonly. I can only kind of speak for myself. So if you guys see a specific map a lot, please do leave it in the comments, or if you see someone who's already left that map that you're thinking of, just go ahead and leave a like on that comment so that I can kind of see 
which maps you guys are seeing the most and I can prioritize which maps to cover first. And I'm probably going to try to coordinate these to go out with a should you buy. I'm not sure if that's going to happen today or not. It might. It depends on how much time I have at the time I'm recording this. So yeah, just let me know in the comments what you think of this, what maps you want to see in the future, and any changes that I can make. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video.